who has issues dipping and I'm actually going to show you dipping the classics as well as the volumes actually let me get some classics out quickly we're gonna go one point five so we can actually see when we're dipping okay and I will actually hold my phone now in my hand so it's actually close up um, let me grab my tweezers I have so many tweezers floating around do you have the same issue yes I do it won't show for you what do you mean Faye the video you're commenting though if you click on it you can actually hear me um, Jasmine says you think you use too much glue okay um, let me show you what too much glue is so oh no everything is falling down um, I have a little blob of glue here make sure your glue is fresh I think this one is not fresh anymore uh, let me go When you put your glue on, make sure it's nice and blobby, like that. Hi, Tans. Mia, which tweezers do you love? I show it a lot. I don't know which ones you're talking about. Okay, so let's say we're going to work with 10 mil, for example. So um, when we're dipping in, there's a few different options, obviously. So what I do is usually I hold it at about this angle, yeah? If you hold it like that and you go in really fast, you usually pick up too much can you see how there's a blob on there so when that happens you insert it back in and you swipe it back out now this is the right amount of glue that you want obviously you have to work pretty quickly with this now if you have a room that is extremely humid and it just dries like on impact or even before you can get onto the lash you can put just that tiny bit more on there so that then when you go onto the lash, which I haven't got anything to isolate with now because my hand is not free, you just literally plonk it on and let go and usually it will spread around this area, okay? Oops, you can't see. It's not very clear, unfortunately, Facebook Live. Um, so I'll show that again. You pick up your, and these are 0 0.15s now. Um, when you go in, I showed at this angle, Maybe I can zoom in even more. There we go. So don't go like that. Too much glue. Yeah. So go back in and pull back out. It sounds naughty. And um, then you have a round amount of glue. Yeah. Just an, enough to coat it and maybe that a little bit more. If you go really fast, that's too much. Now I'll show you what happens if you apply this much glue to a lash. If I can just find one. Yuck. See how that goes into the um, lash line? This is what a lot of people do. This is the sort of stuff that we need to fix up when everything gets clumped together on the roots. Yeah, we want to avoid this at all costs. At all costs. Becca, it is fine if you have a little bead. Like I said, I was actually taught with three beads. Like one in the middle, one on the top, one on the bottom. Like I don't even know how to do this anymore. I don't know, I can't really do it anymore. But I was taught to do this and then have beads everywhere and then put it on. However, if you are just a beginner, you're going to always pick up way too much glue. Yeah, way too much. Um, so I don't recommend that. I'll show you what happens when I put this on. Nope. And again, I apologize because I can't isolate right now. Try and make this clear. Okay. Oop. Took it down uh, too much. See? too much and now it's attaching to the rest obviously would hold the isolation which i can't do now because my phone is in my hand but um this is too much adhesive this is way too much very very dangerous if this happens make sure you use the back of your tweezers or the the bottom end and just swipe up to make sure it's gone or take it off altogether. yeah take it off i just pulled the whole lash out <laughs> sorry dolly hi jackie and um, i'm glad it's helpful sandy that's really really good so again, the right amount of glue really determines the sort of humidity you work with as well um, and make sure it doesn't leave any glumpy, clumpy bits and no big blobs, yeah? So again, one more time just to annoy you with it. If you have way too much, like that is a bit too much, go back in, pull it back out and this is the right amount of glue that you need for classics. Also, what I see a lot of people do, which you don't have to do, if you have... Um, 
let's say a 12 mil lash you do need a little bit more glue than you would need with a 7 mil lash obviously but you can still only use about I don't know maybe do a third of the lash rather than trying to coat everything you don't need to coat everything because it's not going to attach onto absolutely everything on your natural lash either Faye you can see again I'm glad you can <laughs> So is there any questions on dipping with classic lashes? Any questions whatsoever? If not, I'm going to uh, show you just quickly how to do the... Um, what glue are you currently using? Um, at the moment, I'm using the Beautier Classic X Professional Adhesive from Leshia in Australia. And if not, it's um, Beautier.com, I believe. Um, how do I work with clients that twitch their eyes? I might get back to that later, Karina, because I'm, you know, I'm just doing all the content that I've asked yesterday that people wanted to see. But if I have time, I will answer that one later. Okay. Awesome. So let me just show you quickly if there's any volume people here, how you um, can actually do the dipping with the volume. I need to get, I just literally got these tweezers out. Yeah, so they're brand new, so I don't know 100% yet where the sweet spot is. But hopefully we'll be okay. Yep, yeah, that's all right. So now we have, um, I'll zoom in again. Huh? Won't let me zoom in now. There we go. So when you have a volume fan, um, what you want to avoid no, I will show you the right one first and then the wrong one. <laughs> now it's not getting really HD, but I hope you can kind of see a little bit. So when you have your fan, um, what you want to do is literally get the very tip in at the top like that. That's all the adhesive you need. Yeah, It will draw up in itself, which is called wicking. Um, so what you want to avoid is go all the way in like that. Because then if I let this one go, actually put it down. You can see it closes straight up and this is what happens a lot with um, beginners one of the reasons is that you have too much glue on your fan and the other reason is that you just don't hold your fan on your lash for long enough so if you're making a fan and I will not show you all my nine techniques that I show all my online course students because you can do the online course for that but the one technique I always kind of show is my lash tribe technique um, which works like this so let's say you dip your fan. Now you can't see. And of course, I haven't got anything isolated now, so bear with me. But I just wanted to make sure you understand how long you actually have to hold that for. <sighs> Why is it not getting sharp? There we go. So when you have, let's say we just freshly dipped this, right? And you put it on. And what most people do is let go right now, but you have to literally hold it on there for a few seconds, yeah? So it doesn't close up. And then we'll stay open most of the time. Yeah? Maybe even pry it open just a little bit. Yeah. All right. Uh, Faye, I do with volume, but not usually with classics. Do you tape back to get the little one? So I haven't missed that bit. Um, yeah, I tape back as well. I use um, iPads to tape back. So I literally just put iPads on, wiggle a little bit and tape back and that way the little lashes are sticking out. Um, I am using Classic um, X Professional Adhesive from, from Beautier. That one. You can get that from Lashia.com. Are those tweezers for sale? Uh, these ones, the Lash Trite ones. Yes, they are. They're on lashtribe.com.au. They're like the beginner's volume tweezers. They're amazing for beginners because they're cheap enough and they, you know, close almost all the way on the blade. But you still got to obviously use pressure. That's another thing I see a lot of people do wrong. Um, they don't use enough pressure, yeah? You have to hold this so steady that if you had a fan in those tweezers and you were doing these ones, the fan will still be intact. As soon as you move your thumb ever so slightly, this fan that you have in there will disintegrate. Siobhan, you love those tweezers. Do you have them? Awesome. Great. So that is that 
in regards to dipping let me just go back so i know that i haven't missed anything um i'll talk about twitchy eyes a bit later